Okay, now we're going to take a look at the Insert Image tool. That's this little tool, the mountains. It lets you select from any folder on your disk and pick a picture. So I'm going to grab this animal cell picture I took earlier with my document camera. Now you're going to have this little crosshair cursor, which you can click and drag to place the object. Now, you can stretch this object, but if you'd rather it not be stretched, hold the shift key down and it'll fix the aspect ratio so that when you drag it, it doesn't stretch the image out of proportion. Once it's been placed, you'll see the cursor changes to the little hand cursor, which means you can click and drag the image. These little squares along the outer dotted edge of the frame are handles that you can use to resize the image. Again, hold the shift key down if you want to keep the aspect ratio fixed. The dot at the top is how you can rotate the image. Just click on that and then move your cursor left or right. At the bottom of the image, whenever it's selected, there'll be the context menu. Under options, you can change the opacity to make this a transparent image or not. This X will delete the image. You'll get a warning image to find out if you want to do this or not. I'm going to say no. I can copy and then paste and that will give me another copy of this same image. And then the red square X just closes the, the context menu. Once it's been placed, if you go to use another tool, select the pen tool, and now you want to go back and select that shape, you're going to use the select shapes or select objects to hear this little arrow. Now I can go back, I can click on those shapes and I can reposition them.